Hey guys, what do you see? Today we are going to top 10 SMGs and Call of Duty Zombies. We're back at it again. It's been two weeks since you've done the top 10, so I'm bringing another one for you guys. We're doing SMGs today. We've already done pistols, shotguns, snipers, maps, best guns, and worst guns. Next, we're going to go over assault rifles, then we're going to go over LMGs. Then we're going over Wonder Weapons, and after that, honestly, uh, maybe just a top 10 of all the lists. Like, top 10 guns from each list. Uh, that would be a good idea, too. So, if y'all enjoyed this video, keep, an idea, keep in mind, this is more or less an opinion-based kind of subject. But I will still nonetheless put the, point this out that it being an SMG video, I'm going to talk about the SMG rather than the pistols video where I barely talked about the gun. So hope you all enjoy the video. I'll see you later, gamers. Peace. Number 10. Coming at number 10, guys, we have the World at War MB40. We are only going at the one version of this gun, the World at War 1, because I decided going through all the versions would be kind of a weird pick because each one is a different one. The Black Ops 2 one being the best one. Um, but the World at War 1 is coming at number 10 because I just feel like in World at War, it was a game where the only SMG that was viable was the PPSH for high rounds and uh, LMGs and of course the one to walk the ray gun. Um, so yeah, that's really the only reason why it comes at number 10. Don't get me wrong, this gun's one of my favorite guns in zombies. Um, it's a classic, it's run in every single zombie game, even... Uh, I don't think it was in Black Ops 4 actually, but it's made it in every other one and if a gun can make it into every zombies installment, that's good you know it's a good gun so it comes in at number 10 it's the mp40 number nine coming at number nine guys we have the weevil so i put the weevil at number nine for one specific reason that holds it back as a gun it is the slowness of the gun even with double tap it really doesn't feel like an smg when it's that slow i mean even the Pharaoh is more fast than this thing. Like, it's it's bad that if a gun that does less damage and sucks is faster than a gun that does a lot of damage. So, otherwise, besides that, the gun's got a lot of ammo. It can compete with a lot of the heavy hitters with ammo. It's got a really good amount of damage for an SMG, mind you. Not a lot of guns that are SMGs have good damage. Um. A lot of guys, SMGs are like a fast shooting gun, but low damage, like what is it, the M1927 Tommy gun? It's a fast shooting gun, but it's a weak gun. It's not on the list, I forgot about it, otherwise I would have put it on this list. It's a powerful, it's a weak gun, but shoots a lot of bullets from the blast, that's why it's good. This is a gun that's actually powerful, and it shoots damage. It shoots slow though, that's why it's at number 9. Comes in at number 9, it's the Weevil. Number 8. Coming at number 8 guys, we have the Type 100 from World at War. So, I put this in instead of the bootlegger, because the bootlegger came after. Even though I got it in, I think the bootlegger probably is better, I used it. It is a really strong weapon, I was playing on Max during Toad and Black Ops 3. I got to like round 20 with that thing non-pack punch, and I didn't need another gun. Of course I had like a Reagan Mark II with me, but I didn't need it. But the Type 100 is, or the 100,000, not 100,000, wow, I am terrible. Um, 1001 Samurais, if you will, is a really fast shooting gun, a 
okay when it comes to strong gun and a um, decent amount of ammo but consider it's a wool that war SMG like I said um, the wool that war SMG is uh, definitely the only one that's actually worth using the high rounds is the PPSH with a reason um, this is why it comes in number eight but this gun is a good gun a strong gun a fast gun and it has good reload speed comes in at number eight it's a type 100 number seven coming at number seven guys we have the Thompson I put this in after the um, type 100 because you can get it off the wall earlier on on the Reese if you look into the room that this uh, crazy rabbits in right now you can get it in there but you have to go to the right teleporter right up they go up the stairs to get the type 100 and the uh, Thompson's also cheaper so ammo wise pack punched it's always gonna be the same but buying the gun itself is cheaper and I also think this gun has more ammo even if it has less ammo in a clip and um, there's less damage it is a probably similar gun to the Type 100 but like I said the only reason why it comes in after is the fact that it comes on in earlier on in the map uh, right actually after the second door you buy under East slash freaking like second last one if you're like going around the, the route that he's going through which I don't know why you would be um, comes in number seven it's the Thompson number six coming at number six guys we have the VMP from Black Ops 3 so I gotta admit, after the first time I used this weapon, I fell in love with Black Ops 3 SMGs. Originally, I was always an assault rifle, shotgun, assault rifle, wonder weapon, assault rifle, sniper, even just assault rifle, pistol kind of guy. I never often picked up SMGs except for the PPSH. Black Ops 3 came around. I didn't know if the VMP was good or not, but when I played the Giant, I picked it up and I realized this gun is a good weapon. It's a strong, really good weapon. It's a fast weapon. It's got a good amount of ammo. Um, like its counterpart, the Vesper, I think those are the two similar ones. Um, it shoots really, really fast. Unlike the Vesper, though, it has ammo. Uh, the Vesper doesn't have enough ammo. This gun's got a lot of ammo, good reload speed on its own, good amount of damage, and it's also really mobile, so you can train with it like most SMGs. Comes in at number six, it's the BMP. Number five. Hey, would you guys stop throwing out fireworks? I'm trying to make a video here. Anyway, guys, number five, we have the Vesper. So, the Vesper is coming in after the VMP because I feel like the gun kills more zombies in the end, even if the ammo is a lack of because of its speed. If you can see, this gun is like Scorpion Evo fast. It's insanely quick. Like, you run out of ammo, like, a snap of your fingers, like that. It's pretty, you know, fast. But I feel like the damage on the gun also helps. Like, even if um, it shoots very fast, you lose ammo, you reload insanely quick. And the damage is really high, especially when you hit those headshots. You're dominating zombies on, like, round 20. And then you're going to need double tap, double pack punch, and maybe even... Um, electric cherry to uh, keep yourself going and I don't even know maybe even double pack punch isn't enough maybe you just can't use the gun but like the gun is a really strong weapon but it's just the lack of ammo is its downfall which is why it's only in the number five coming at number five it is the Vesper number four coming at number four guys we have the PDW so the BDW is the predecessor and also the better version of the Weevil. This is a weird thing. I was thought the PDW was just the PDW and I always thought the Weevil was related to P90. I guess I was wrong. Um, but this gun is a found on Die Rise, Origins, and I don't know if it's on Mob of the Dead. Or buried? No, it is unburied. I don't know if it's on Mob of the Dead though. Um, I think something else is on Mob of the Dead instead of it, like the MP5. But this gun's a really good training weapon, as you can see. You're training in the mud. You can train in the mud with the gun. You can train with it anywhere, um, because the mud's insanely hard to train in. It's a really fast shooting gun. A decent amount of ammo and a decent strong weapon. But I think the Weevil has the damaged part down 
better than this gun. Like, I feel like this gun doesn't do as enough, enough damage. The Weevil can harness that. But the Weevil should have paid attention to fire rate, unlike it didn't. Comes in at number four. It's the PDW. Number three. Coming at number three, guys, we have the Uzi from Black Ops 2 Mob of the Dead. This gun is featured on one map, and that is it. And it really should have been featured on more gun maps, because this gun is really good. Now, I think when I was talking about number three, it said the PDW wasn't in Mob of the Dead because of something else. And I think it was actually because of this gun and not the MP5. I think this gun was uh, replaced the PDW. And, you know, honestly, it deserves the right to with this gun. This gun shoots so fast that when you shoot a single bullet, which I'll get the sound of the Uzi playing and then cut the audio from here and on. So I'm going to need the audio for you guys to play for the Uzi. And I'm going to let you know what it's, it sounds insanely. It sounds like a barrage of bullets, not single bullets. See what I mean? It's a really fast gun, good reload speed, really good strength. It's an Uzi too, so that has points in my book. Comes in number three, it's the mini Uzi. Number two, Ugh, the fireworks don't stop. Coming in at number two, we have the Scorpion Evo. And I'm literally gonna make this the shortest one. I'm just gonna play the sound of the gun to explain why it's so good. Oh wait, what about in slow motion? Okay, what about super slow-mo? Is there really anything else I have to say? I don't even need to talk about the damage or the reload speed or the mobility. All you need to know is that this gun is the fastest shooting SMG in Call of Duty Zombies. Comes in at number two, it's the Scorpion Evo. Number one. Coming at number one, guys, thank god the fireworks stop. Well, it really could have been anything else. It's the PBSH. And I'm literally just gonna say this. It's not gonna be long. The gun has the fire rate of an SMG, the damage of an assault rifle, the ammo of an LMG, and the mobility of an SMG. Even a pistol for that matter. It's just the most overpowered weapon in zombies history. Like, there's really nothing else to say about it. Number one, it's the PPSH. It's the king of SMGs. I just want to say thank you all for sticking around for another top 10. Like I said, the next video will be the top 10 assault rifles. Then we're going to go over LMGs and then Wonder Weapons. So that will be the end of the top 10 guns. And then we'll go over top 10 guns of these lists. I'll go over each gun from each list in a row what guns are better in the not and probably the one I will only be number one. But I hope y'all enjoyed. I'll see you on the gamers. Peace. Right foot up, left foot slide, left foot up, right foot slide. They go right foot up, left foot slide, left foot up, right foot slide. Basically I'm saying